Hello, this is the constant current switch for power supply that I built for you. And here is my current meter. This is the lowest that the switch for power supply can um, go. Around 69 milliamps, which is pretty low. And I realize it's not zero, but that's as low as it's going to get, unfortunately. A test load are two very big silicon diodes. The voltage drop I measured across them was about 3 volts. So it's pretty pretty reasonable load, and uh, this potentiometer is the coarse adjustment, and this one right here is the fine adjustment. When I turn this one, current goes up. Turn the fine one all the way up. There's your three amps. Now I want to go down a little bit. It jumps quite a bit. Well, that's what the fine one is for. Let's say I want to get two hundred two two amps two point three amps. Sorry, I can't speak today apparently. I want to get two point three amps. Right on. Roughly. It's very easy to adjust, you just gotta turn this one. And then you can do some fine adjusting. The LED is there to let you know that it is on. That's the switching toroid, that's the shunt resistor. These are the filter caps, that's the switch, and over there is the power supply. Now, I uh, overdid a little bit with the power supply because, well, why not? It can actually do anywhere from 19 volts down to approximately zero on constant current. The, the big heat sink doesn't even get warm at all, so you can run this for a long time. Little one gets barely above room temperature. This is the uh, Scott key diode, in case you're wondering if you even know what that is. But it all works perfectly, and it is indeed a switching regulator. Uh, I hope that you, I hope that you like it. Thank you very much.